Good morning to all. This is Rahul Mira. Our subject is operating systems for second CSC. In that, our topic is paging. This is our third unit topic. Okay, na? paging. That is our topic. Today's topic is paging. Before that, what is our last topic? The topic is fragmentation. Fragmentation. Okay, ah, yes. Fragmentation, sir. Simply, yes, what is the meaning of your fragmentation here? Simply, fragmentation is a unwanted problem. Okay, na? fragmentation is a unwanted problem. Here, what is that problem? Here, memory blocks, memory, free memory is available, but we can't store, we can't store process in that particular free memory. This is nothing but fragmentation. Simply, here, what is the result of this fragmentation? The result of this fragmentation is insufficient memory. Memory is available, but system shows insufficient memory. That is the that is the problem of this fragmentation. Okay, now here there are two types of fragmentations are there. First one is internal fragmentation, next one is external fragmentation. Okay, now coming to our internal fragmentation, what is the meaning of this? Okay, now here in this internal fragmentation, process is allotted a memory block of size that is more than the size of the process. That means, for example, our process capacity is 2 MB that is allotted for more than 2, two MB of memory. That means 3 or 4. Okay, na? So in that internal fragmentation, some memory will be lost. Some memory will be lost. Why? Because process capacity is low, but memory capacity is high. For that, in this case, some memory is waste. Okay, na? This is the internal fragmentation. Okay, na? For example, look at this. Okay, na? For example, look at this block. Look at this block. There is a 4 MB space is available, but we are we are inserting P1 that is the capacity of 3 MB. That means 3 MB is allotted here. 1 MB is a red mark. 1 MB is waste. This is nothing but internal fragmentation. Okay, now. So how we can overcome this internal fragmentation? So with the help of dynamic partition for dynamic partition, nothing but MVT. Okay, now. dynamic partition for allocating space. With the help of this one, we can remove the internal fragmentation. There is another type of fragmentation is there that is external fragmentation. What is the meaning of this external fragmentation? Here, in internal fragmentation means process is low, but memory is high. Some memory is wasted. That is the internal. But here, external fragmentation. Okay, now we are we are total space available. We have total space available that is needed by the process still we are not able to put that process in the memory that means that means we have sufficient memory to store the process but we can't store okay now we have sufficient memory to store process to store process but we can't we can't we can't store that particular process in that particular memory this is nothing but external fragmentation okay now how this will come for example there are these all are some free spaces for example this block is 8 mb this block is 4 mb this block is 4 mb again this block is 2 mb some part is reserved from operating system okay now, for example what happened here for example p4 is occupied p4 p4 process occupied in 8 mb but p4 capacity is only 6 mb Okay, no? 6 MB. That means 2 MB is free. 2 MB is free. For example, coming to this case, there is a 4 MB of size, but we are we are inserting P1 process. P1 process. What is the capacity of P1? Uh, 3 MB. Okay, 3 MB of P1 process is storing in 4 MB of space. That means 1 MB is free. Here also there is 4 MB of free space we are inserting p3 what is the capacity of p3 for example 3 okay na? 3 mb that means 1 mb is free in this also there are 2 mb of free space there is a 2 mb of free space is available we are inserting p2 process that consists of only mb 1 mb of capacity okay na? 1 mb of capacity that means that means that means 1 mb free space total how much of free space 
टू थ्री फोर फाइव सो आफ्टर ऑक्यूपाई आफ्टर ऑक्यूपाइंग दिस फोर प्रोसेस वी हैव फाइव एम बी ऑफ फ्री स्पेस इन दैट मेमोरी ओके ना फॉर एग्जाम्पल नाउ सपोज ए न्यू प्रोसेस वन टू एग्जीक्यूट ओके ना फॉर एग्जाम्पल पी फाइव दैट इज कॉल्ड एज पी फाइव पी फाइव पी फाइव वन टू इन सेट दिस मेमोरी दट द कैपेसिटी इज फोर एम बी हियर द अवेलेबल फ्री स्पेस इज फाइव एम बी पी फाइव कैपेसिटी इज ओनली फोर एम बी बट वी आर नाट we are not able to insert here manam insert cheyalaka pothunam okay na 5 mb unna sare 5 mb free space unna sare 4 mb of program ni manam insert cheyalaka pothunam this is nothing but external fragmentation okay na so our definition says we have sufficient memory to store that particular process but we are not able to store that particular process this is nothing but external fragmentation okay na how these will overcome with the help of paging with the help of paging concept we can remove external fragmentation okay na these are very important on end bits as well as gate bits and okay na two important gate bits how we overcome internal fragmentation with the help of dynamic allocation how we can overcome external fragmentation with the help of paging with the help of paging we can overcome external fragmentation okay na agandi how internal fragmentation will occur how internal fragmentation will occur how because how because process capacity is process capacity is for example process is stored more than that particular process capacity that is internal fragmentation what is meaning of external fragmentation we have free space to store but we can't store this is the external fragmentation okay na so this uh, this is our yesterday's topic only so fragmentation internal fragmentation external fragmentation okay na if you listen this topics very carefully very interesting very jagratha unnaru ante chaala interesting ga untadi okay na so coming to our paging okay na paging ok sir paging ikkada cheppam andi with the help of paging okay na with the help of paging we can overcome external fragmentation in cpan kada so let us discuss about our paging concept what is the meaning of paging here simply paging is a memory management technique okay na simply paging is a memory management technique how this memory management will done with the help of paging okay let us discuss here paging is a memory management technique in this paging technique process address space is broken into block of same size is called as page okay na i am recalling again simply here paging is a memory management technique in this paging process address space okay na process address space is broken into block of same size of same size is called as page and that means what is the meaning of process address what is the meaning of process address space adi meek adi cheppagaligide meek ardham ayindi take off cheppandi what is the meaning of process address space evarena what is the meaning of process address space okay na em chestunnam ante ikkada paging lo simply in this paging paging we are we are broken process address space into block of same size this concept is called as paging now my doubt is what is the meaning of process address space what is the meaning of process address space if you want to know process address space you recall what is the definition of process if you recall the definition of process you will understand what is the meaning of process address space tell me what is the meaning of process simply process is a small piece of the program that is in the memory that is in the memory that is in execution by the cpu that is the meaning of process so simply we can call as process is under execution process is nothing but under execution that means that means that must be that means that must be in the main memory executing by the cpu that is nothing but process here what is my doubt what is the meaning of process address space 
what is the meaning of process address space that means process is available in two blocks what are those first one is at the main memory second one is at the cpu kada cpu ante meaning emiti cpu kada ante process ante meaning emiti process ante enti cpu cheta execute avutu undali ekkada adi main memory lo undali ante what is the meaning of process address space process address space is nothing but process address space is nothing but this address space is available at the memory this address space is available at the cpu cpu daggara unte danne em antanu logical address antanu main memory daggara unte danne em antanu physical address antanu ante physical addresses ni logical addresses ni mane em chestam anta sum equals parts ga divide cheste danne paging antanu so man diagrammatically explain chestam andi so basic chepta ante okay simply here paging is a memory management technique paging is a memory management technique in this paging in this paging we are broken we are broken process address space into block of the same size this is called as paging okay na here the size of the process is measured in the number of pages this is the online bit again the number of process the size of the process is the size of the process is measured in the number of pages okay na yes how this online bit how do we how do we calculate number of pages cheppandi how do we calculate number of pages how do we calculate number of pages that is size of the process size of the process is measured in the number of pages okay na similarly at the main memory similarly at the main memory is divided into small fixed size of block of memory is called as a frames is called as frames okay na and these frames are equal to the page these frames are equal to the page simply with the help of paging we are optimizing the main memory and avoid the external fragmentation how this optimizing how this external fragmentation will come later discuss okay na simply what is the definition of paging paging is a memory management technique in this technique in this technique we are broken process address space into block of the same size okay na and then the size of the process is measured in the number of pages same as at the main memory at the main memory dividing small fixed size of block is called as frame also this frame size is equal to the page okay na? with the help of this paging we are optimizing the main memory and also we can avoid the external fragmentation we can how this happened let us discuss so simply at the process level at the process level there are two types of addresses are there first one is physical address next one is logical address physical address is at physical address is at physical memory nothing but main memory logical address is at cpu okay na chudam kar here address generated by the cpu address generated by the cpu is called as what is my question address generated by the cpu is called as anyone respond anyone address generated by the cpu is called as physical address address generated logical by the logical address ha uh, uh, not physical address logical address okay na address generated by the cpu is called as a logical address మీరు ఒకటే గుర్తుంచుకోండి డోంట్ కన్ఫ్యూజ్ ఫిజికల్ అడ్రస్ ఎక్కడ అంటే ఫిజికల్ మెమరీ దగ్గర పిపి గుర్తుంచుకోండి ఓకేనా రిమంబర్ పిపి ఫిజికల్ అడ్రస్ ఫిజికల్ మెమరీ ఆల్సో కాడ్ అస్ మెయిన్ మెమరీ ఓకేనా ఎనదర్ ఎనది ఎనదర్ అడ్రస్ ఏంటి ఫిజికల్ అడ్రస్ కాకుండా ఎనదర్ అడ్రస్ ఏంటి లాజికల్ అడ్రస్ లాజికల్ అడ్రస్ ఈ సిపి ఓకేనా డోంట్ కన్ఫ్యూజ్ ఎట్లా గుర్తుంచుకోవాలి అంటే పి పి ఫిజికల్ అడ్రస్ మీన్స్ ఫిజికల్ మెమరీ physical address means physical memory remaining address is logical address at cpu atla gurtunchukondi okay na so simply address generated by the cpu address generated by the cpu is called as logical address this logical address is divided into divided into page number and page offset okay page number and page offset we are definition says so what is the meaning of this paging paging is nothing but template paging is nothing but 
process address space is broken into block of same size is called as page kada mari page process address ante enti adi cpu daggara untundi adi main memory daggara untundi main memory daggara unte danne mana physical address anna mari cpu daggara unte danne mana logical address anna kada so logical address e vidhanga break avutundo chuddam physical logical logical address ante cpu daggara e vidhanga break avutundo chuddam atlage physical address మెమరీ దగ్గర ఏ విధంగా బ్రేక్ అవుతుందో చూద్దామండి ఓకేనా అదే ఇది చూద్దాం సో సింపుల్లీ అడ్రస్ జనరేటెడ్ బై ది సిపియూ ఈజ్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ లాజికల్ అడ్రస్ దిస్ లాజికల్ అడ్రస్ ఎట్ సిపియూ ఈజ్ డివైడెడ్ ఇంటూ పేజ్ నెంబర్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ పేజ్ ఆఫ్సెట్ ఓకేనా పేజ్ నెంబర్ డినోటెడ్ విత్ ది హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ పి లెటర్ పేజ్ ఆఫ్సెట్ డినోటెడ్ బై ది డి లెటర్ ఓకేనా వాట్ ఈస్ ద మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ పేజ్ నెంబర్ సింపుల్ హియర్ పేజ్ నెంబర్ ఈజ్ ఎ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ బీట్ రిక్వైర్డ్ టు రిప్రజెంట్ ది పేజెస్ ఇన్ లాజికల్ అడ్రస్ ఓకేనా డెఫినేషన్ కొంచెం కష్టంగా ఉంటే ప్రాబ్లం ఏంటంటే పేజ్ నెంబర్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ ది పేజ్ సింపుల్ ఓకేనా పేజ్ నెంబర్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ ది పేజ్ దాన్ని ఏమంటాం అంటే ద నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ బిట్స్ రిక్వైర్ టు రిప్రజెంట్ ది పేజ్ ఈజ్ ఇన్ ది లాజికల్ అడ్రస్ అంటే ఏం లేదండి ఎట్ ది లాజికల్ ఎట్ ది లాజికల్ అడ్రస్ హౌ హౌ మెనీ పేజ్ నెంబర్స్ ఆర్ జనరేటెడ్ హౌ మెనీ పేజ్ నెంబర్స్ ఆర్ జనరేటెడ్ ఎన్ని పేజ్లు వెయిట్ చేస్తుంటే అన్ని పేజ్ నెంబర్స్ వెయిట్ చేస్తాయి ఓకేనా అదండి ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ మీ బ మీరు బస్లో ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ బస్ ఏముందండి ఫోర్ సీట్స్ ఆర్ అవైలబుల్ ఫోర్ సీట్స్ ఆర్ అవైలబుల్ ఫోర్ మెంబర్స్ని మాత్రమే ఎక్కిస్తాం ఓకేనా సింపుల్ ఇట్లాగే అనమాట హౌ మెనీ నెంబర్స్ హౌ మెనీ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ పేజెస్ ఆర్ వెయిటింగ్ హౌ మెనీ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ పేజ పేజెస్ ఆర్ వెయిటింగ్ సో అన్ని పేజెస్ని అన్ని లాజికల్ అడ్రస్ని మాత్రమే డివైడ్ చేస్తాం ఎన్ని పేజ్ నెంబర్స్ అయితే వెయిట్ చేస్తున్నాయో అన్ని అన్ని లాజికల్ లాజికల్ అడ్రస్ లో అన్ని స్లాడ్స్ మాత్రమే అలాట్ చేస్తాం దిస్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ పేజ్ పేజ్ నెంబర్ సో సింపుల్ పేజ్ నెంబర్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ బిట్స్ రిక్వైర్ టు రిప్రజెంట్ ది పేజెస్ ఇన్ లాజికల్ అడ్రస్ సింపుల్ వీ కెన్ కాల్ యాజ్ పేజ్ నెంబర్ దిస్ ఈస్ డినోటెడ్ విత్ ది హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ పి ఓకేనా దిస్ ఈస్ డినోటెడ్ విత్ ది హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ పి అండి ఎస్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ ఆఫ్ సెట్ పేజ్ ఆఫ్ సెట్ పేజ్ ఆఫ్ సెట్ ఈజ్ ఎ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ బిట్స్ రిక్వైర్ టు రిప్రజెంట్ పర్టికులర్ పేజ్ సైజ్ ఓకేనా పర్టికులర్ పేజ్ సైజ్ సో సింప్లీ పేజ్ ఆఫ్ సెట్ ఈజ్ నాథింగ్ బట్ పేజ్ సైజ్ అండి పేజ్ నెంబర్ ఈజ్ నాథింగ్ బట్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ పేజ్ పేజ్ ఆఫ్ సెట్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ పేజ్ సైజ్ ఆఫ్ లాజికల్ అడ్రస్ ఓకేనా దిస్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ పేజ్ ఆఫ్ సెట్ సింప్లీ సింప్లీ లాజికల్ అడ్రస్ ఈజ్ డివైడెడ్ ఇన్ టు టూ టైప్స్ అండి దీని మీనింగ్ ఏమిటా అంటే simply we can summarize at at the cpu logical address is divided into two parts first one is page number next one is page offset okay na page number is denoted with the help of p page offset denoted with the help of d okay na that end so at the cpu at the cpu logical address is divided into logical address is divided into two parts what are those first one is page number next one is page offset page number is nothing but number of the page page offset is nothing but size of the page okay now this is about at the cpu nothing but logical address about physical address so okay now in the main memory in the main memory the physical address is generated okay now in the main memory the physical address is generated this physical address also divided into ఓకేనా ఫ్రేమ్ ఫ్రేమ్ నెంబర్ ఫ్రేమ్ ఆఫ్సెట్ ఫ్రేమ్ నెంబర్ ఫ్రేమ్ ఆఫ్సెట్ ఎట్ ది సిపియు ఎట్ ది సిపియు పేజ్ నెంబర్ పేజ్ ఆఫ్సెట్ ఎట్ ది మెమరీ ఫ్రేమ్ నెంబర్ ఫ్రేమ్ ఆఫ్సెట్ ఓకేనా సో ఒకసారి చెప్పానండి ఇక్కడ చూడండి మెమరీ దగ్గర చూడండి అదిగోండి ఇక్కడ ఇన్ ది మెయిన్ మెమరీ ఇన్ ది మెయిన్ మెమరీ ఓకేనా ఏమిటంట ఫ్రేమ్స్ గా డివైడ్ అవుతాయి ఇన్ ది మెయిన్ మెమరీ ఫ్రేమ్స్ గా డివైడ్ అవుతాయి ఇన్ ది సిపియు ఇన్ ది సిపి పేజెస్ లాగా డివైడ్ అవుతాయి అది రిమైండ్ చేసుకోండి ఓకేనా సో ఇక్కడ కూడా మనకు ఆన్లైన్ బిట్స్ వచ్చేసినాయి అండి ఓకేనా పేజెస్ ఆర్ జనరేటెడ్ పేజెస్ ఆర్ జనరేటెడ్ వే పేజెస్ ఆర్ పేజ్ నెంబర్స్ ఆర్ పేజ్ ఆఫ్సెట్స్ ఆర్ జనరేటెడ్ ఎట్ పేజ్ నెంబర్స్ అండ్ పేజ్ ఆఫ్సెట్స్ ఆర్ జనరేటెడ్ ఎట్ పేజ్ ఆఫ్సెట్ పేజ్ నెంబర్స్ ఆర్ జనరేటెడ్ ఎట్ సిపి ఫ్రేమ్ నెంబర్స్ ఫ్రేమ్ ఆఫ్సెట్స్ జనరేటెడ్ ఎట్ మెయిన్ మెమరీ ఓకేనా పేజ్ నెంబర్ 
page offsets are generated at a CPU in the logical address. Frame number, frame offsets are generated at the main memory in the physical address. Okay, now, in our ending. Okay, now, so simply. Ah, uh, uh, yes, so simply, simply logical address. Okay, now, logical address is divided into page number, page offset at the CPU. Same as physical address divided into frame number, frame offset at memory memory okay now so simply this frame number denoted with the help of f frame offset denoted with the help of d so these are same as this one and okay now. this is page number at the memory frame number that is yeah okay now. at the at the memory this this page offset is nothing but frame offset okay now same day diagram you can only you can pay some you can have more frames and time and okay now this is about our memory dividing concept at the this is memory dividing concept at the cpu at the memory okay na? so this is about our memory dividing concept in the paging that is at the cpu logical address is divided into two things first one is page number page offset at the memory the physical address is divided into two things first one is frame number next one is frame offset how this work let us discuss okay no? ah, yes simply i am recalling again logical address is nothing but logical address is nothing but nothing but page number page offset physical address is nothing but frame number frame offset a logical address is generated at cpu physical address is generated at main memory nothing but physical memory okay now how these all work so look at this diagram okay now for example cpu maintains cpu maintains one address that is logical address main memory maintains main memory also called as physical memory okay now. main memory maintains one address this is physical address okay now. so here logical address is divided into two things at the cpu logical address is divided into two things first one is page number next one is page offset at the memory at the memory physical address is dividing into two things first one is frame number as well as a frame offset okay now here there is a one table this is very important in paging okay now? this is very important in paging there is a one table that is called as page table this is a page table where this occur in between logical address physical address okay now. page table is a table page table is a table this is a happened this is occurred in between logical address and physical address and this is in between cpu and physical memory okay sir diagram to stay shown sorry yes page table is a table this table is occurred in between simply cpu and main memory simply inka zoom just a logical address in between this page table is generated in between logical address and physical address why this page table why this page table okay na? yes let us discuss here page table consists of page table consists of two things what are those p and f page table consists of two things what are those p and f what is the meaning of p here p is nothing but page number f is nothing but frame number that means page table maintains maintains page number page number in logical address frame number in physical address that means here page table maintains maintains cpu and as well as main memory ante main memory daggaruna main memory daggaruna frame number ni cpu daggaruna page number ni renditni maintain chesindi ee page table okay na chudandi ok sari get this diagram here page table is a table it consists of two variables that is p that is p and f what is the meaning of p it p is nothing but page number f is nothing but frame number so this page table consists of page number as well as frame number why these two why these two using this p and f process is executed 
okay nah? using this p and f process is executed by the cpu with the help of page table only cpu can understand whether the process is available in the main memory or not okay nah? main memory low a particular process unda leda cpu ki atla ardham avutundi with the help of this page table only okay nah? so cpu can look immediately cpu can look immediately page table if particular page numbers are available particular frame numbers are available in the page numbers then our cpu can understand yes that particular process is available in our main memory then only the cpu can execute okay na? and then this is the main objective of the page table simply here the main point is page table is placed in between or generated in between logical address and physical address page table can store physical no page table can store page number and frame numbers that is p and l using this page number and frame number cpu can understand whether the particular process is in the main memory or not if it is available that particular process is executed if it is not available that process is not executed by the cpu okay na? this is nothing but page simply why page you put page and the chapan why page page is used to identify whether the particular process is available or not in the main memory this is the main concept of paging okay na? so yes someone ask me the route okay na? so simply that is the concept of phasing now coming to our page map table okay now page map table so what is the meaning of page map table page map table is nothing but page map table is nothing but page map table is nothing but the operation the operation of page table okay na? how cpu can understand how cpu can understand whether the process is in main memory or not with the help of with the help of page table right? so simply page table maintains page table maintains page mapping right? page table maintains page mapping in this page mapping what will be happen here in this page mapping okay now some part of the page table is divided some part of the some part of the page table is occupied with page number remaining part of the page table is occupied with frame number so look at this diagram okay na? cpu maintains logical address this main memory maintains physical address okay na? here logical address is divided into page number as well as object here the physical address divided into frame number and the object so what is the happen here page map table page map table retrieves retrieves page number at cpu and remaining part remaining part okay now so frame number frame number can retrieve from the from the physical address so these two addresses are stored these two are mapped okay you don't map just control penalty if it is mapped for example page number is equal to frame number and then code adi maatrame main memory unnattuga CPU For example, frame number is different to frame page number is different to page number on the that is not in our main memory. So our process execute our rule. Okay, now those page numbers are equal to frame numbers that the process is executed by the CPU. Okay, now. so in this way, process are executed with the help of paging. Okay, now. so simply, what is the definition of your page map table? The data structure the data structure called as page mapping table this is used to keep track the relation between page of process to frame in physical memory so simply page map table is relationship between page number and frame number this happens in between cpu and main memory this operation is performed at the page table okay then next concept that is structure of page table okay na? this is our tomorrow's topic and the structure of page table so simply here actually page, ta page table is discussed na? simply 
how many page tables are available what is the main purpose of that particular page table that we will discuss tomorrow okay na? this is our today's topic and paging okay na? i am recording again simply what is the meaning of paging here what is the meaning of paging here simply here paging is a memory management technique in this paging we are dividing or we are broken process address into block of same size cpu and main memory sir ha ah, okay na cp cpu and main memory okay na ha ah, yes simply in this we are dividing or we are breaking process address space into block of the same size okay na ah, yes so similarly at the main memory at the main memory physical address is divided into small pixel size called as frame okay na the main object to our paging is optimizing the utilization of main memory and avoid the external fragmentation okay na then at the cpu the logical address is divided into page number offset at the physical memory the physical address is divided into frame number frame offset okay na so simply we can conclude logical address is equal to page number plus page offset physical number no physical address is equal to frame number plus frame offset so here there is a page table page table maintains okay na page number as well as frame number okay na? this is generated in between the logical address and physical address what is the main operation page table performs page mapping page mapping operation what is the page mapping operation page map mapping and page mapping is nothing but nothing but compare or relation between page number at the cpu frame frame number at the main memory if these two are equal then on the cpu execute that particular process if these two are not equal that particular process is not executed by the cpu this is about our today's topic okay na? tomorrow we will discuss about structure of page table okay na? structure of page table okay na? you know you can do now and prepare for next class tomorrow we will discuss structure of page table okay thank you